Always alerting, always tracking. This is Next Weather. Well, you uh, probably saw one of those showers or were under one of those showers today. There were a few of them, some of them a little bit on the heavier side. Tomorrow we're going to see a few more showers. We have moisture coming in from the Atlantic, so we'll be watching for that. Near record high temps again today. It was 87 tomorrow pretty much the same and that'll be a couple of degrees away and now we are watching the tropics. There's an area that has developed down in the Caribbean. Nothing in the Atlantic. Things are good here but this is the spot. Hurricane Center is giving this a 20% chance that we could see development over the next seven days. Right now it's just a broad area of low pressure. Could start drifting to the north and east. We'll watch that. Conditions will become hostile for this. There's a lot of wind so we'll see how far that makes it but it will bring a little bit more moisture northward you can see this is the deep blue. This is where all this moisture is pooled at this point. Starts to work its way north as we get into next week. We have a cold front coming through. That'll start drawing that moisture northward, so we'll see a better chance to pick up some rain. Not a little bit more than these little spot showers that we're expecting tomorrow. A couple showers have developed out here in the Atlantic. Water temperatures are warm, still in the upper 70s. Further south you go, it gets into the lower 80s. So the, since these water temperatures are still warm enough to support tropical development, even though we're getting to the end of the official hurricane season, that doesn't mean we can still get development into December. It is a possibility. Tomorrow afternoon, little shower activity starts developing. Again, winds shifting to the south and east, so that'll pull them, move them off to the northwest and by the afternoon look at that this model this uh, rain tracker model wants to really develop those showers off to the west so when do we get out of this pattern not for a while we'll stay on the south side of the frontal system it kind of gets stuck over central parts of florida that'll be over the weekend so we stay basically dry warm humid near record highs and then by monday into tuesday the front drops south winds will turn to the northeasterly direction and the wind will be back gusts up to 25 maybe 35 miles per hour. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of next week. High tomorrow, 87 degrees, uh, 86, 87. That's where it's going to be in that range. Above average, 82 is normal for this time of the year. Plus, the humidity will be up just a little bit. So you're going to feel that stickiness in the atmosphere. Saturday and Sunday, both days, beautiful days. Highs around 87. And again, it'll be a little on the sticky side. So here's your forecast. Highs tomorrow, 87. Saturday, 87. Sunday, 87. Next week is when the change comes, the pattern finally breaks down. Better chance for rain, cooler temperatures, and windy.